up. Where do I start and why? You turn the I's and J's and K's into X, Y's and Z's. Yeah. That's, that's a good way to say it. Take so cartoons and what are we going to do? So we know it's going to be an A, X plus a B, Y plus a C. So do you really get, you see it as a rule now, but you're okay, aren't you? So what do we do? One, two, minus one. So I don't write them as the A's, B's and C's. I write them as the X, Y's and Z's. So what have I got? Say it for me, come on. So I don't X know plus two Y. Uh, uh. A? Yes. <laughs> what? A plus two B. A? You're replacing the X yeah, with the one. Oh, not the A. So you didn't really have it yet, even though we thought you did. So we're replacing plus the X, Y, Z, which you said in words, but then you didn't do in concept. Plus 2B, plus 2C equals D. Yeah, it was so easy to make the stuff of that. My goodness. So my, one of my lecturers at uni said, if you get through these without making a mistake, he'll give you four marks. And if it looks like you know what you're doing. Next one. Yeah, what is the dot product? A cake three B dot plus two C equals D. Yeah, it's and the ones you two A plus B in. plus C equals D. Yeah. Now we could solve that with simultaneous equations, not using substitution, uh, using elimination, but really that's in our next chapter. For the moment, you know, we can go and do that before you pick up your class code and give an answer. So once you pick up class code and give an answer, remember on class code though. We're only dealing with A, B, and C, Riley. We're not dealing with D. We'll stuff you up. Because this is three equations of three unknowns. I know it's got the D there, but these are mm. D for dummy variable, I suppose. 7 D on 6? Yes. Yeah. Which then negative 3 D on 6. Yeah. Negative D? Negative D on 2 for B. Is but it's also negative 3 on 6. You got Because like, I just changed my order to 6. So yeah, yeah, leave them all sixes. And minus the five down six. Yep. Two of you agree? It's correct. Are they correct, Emma? No. You don't know. So what do we do? Now it's talking about the A. So up here we're talking about replacing the X. Now it's talking about the A, B, and the C. So now you have to replace the A, B, and C. Oh, yeah. that. Okay. So, so it's a seven. I'm going to write the X there. That's Most people probably don't. Minus yeah. three. D, Y on 6. Oh my goodness, mate. Oh, the plus minus. Minus 5, D, C on 6. Yeah, C, Z, Z. on 6. So it's just too easy, mate. Yeah. So if I multiply everything by 6, I'm going to bother to do it the long way. 3, D, Y minus 5, D. So back to me and get rid of the fractions first. I had an American student one year, years ago who used to write that. Instead of putting times 6, times 6, times 6. Interesting. Not seem to really take on this rate. Divide everything by D. We've got our Cartesian, which tells us in the next one. So what have we got? 7x minus 3y. 3y. Take 5z here. Oh my goodness, mate. I've got to give myself to concentrate. Now we use the reverse of the dot product to bring out the x, the y, and the z, and the 7 and minus 3 and minus 5, and that's the dot product form. So what have we got? Oh, is it R times that? Let's get the X, in, yeah, X in the first bracket, Y in the first bracket, Z if you call it bracket, first matrix. Does it matter what order? Vector. Hey? Does it matter what order? Yeah. Because I think yesterday you did it the other oh, way. I hope not. I think, I'm not sure. It doesn't matter the order. And we got a 7, we got minus 3 and minus 5. And that equals 6. So there's your second form. Vector equation. How did we get that? Remember you're standing there with this thing. And saying, if I have a point and I have two vectors, it locks it in place. So if I know that vector and I know that vector, and I start from that point, I've got the equation. Now what's interesting then, a lot of people go that vector and then that vector. There's something about what I call, um, it's a visual mistake that people make. The more that your mind moves across ways, the more errors you make. I see myself doing it on the board. That's why maths, maths is going down the page. And also visually, when you're going down the page, you're going only a short distance. Whereas when, you, when your mind's tracking from there to there, it makes more mistakes than mine does anyway. Most people do. 
So let's say we had, let's start with this one. So it's equation is, start with that first point. Is that A, B, or A, C, or what? That's just A. So this is point A. Oh, one, two, negative one. Yeah. So it's going to start with a point. And then two vectors. And then we go two vectors. Find two vectors by A, B, or A, C. So we've got a vector, two points, and a vector. I mean, a point and two vectors. So what's this vector going to be? Whatever you want. Could be A, B, could be A, C, could be B, A, could be C, A, could be whatever other ones we come up with. There's two more on this one there. So what's this one going to be? A, C, C. Yeah, a lot of people go with A, C. Yeah. Probably most common. I, I tend to, for myself, go B, C. Why? So you're not tracking so far. So it's zero, minus five. So from there to there is zero, from there to there is minus five, from there to there is three, up three. So what do they say? Zero, zero minus five, five three. From there to there is up one, up four, down one. Up one, up four, down one. And then I'll write it wrong. Up one, up four, and down one. Only yesterday when I, I said one, three, one, and I wrote one, two, one. Yeah, there you go. So the annoying part is, some of you will write it using, instead of BC, you'll use it as AC. So when I'm marking it, I have usually the two most common forms written down. I imagine when they're marking the waist, they have, yeah. I think most people would start with A. Unless some kid wants to be annoying, start with B, but it's not fair on your markers. Just remember, they only get paid so much per question from what I understand, so. Oh, doesn't quite even work that way. D, parametric means, now you just write the R as X, Y, Z. That's really all it is. Now, I could have written this, by the way. I could have written this as 1 plus no, lambda plus mu. Yeah? Tell me the next bit. 2 take 5 lambda plus 4 mu. 4 mu. Minus 1. Plus 3 lambda minus yeah. mu. And, of course, a lot of people want to write it as braces. And I'll go x equals 1 plus mu. And y equals 2 minus 5 lambda plus 4. Do you know why they call that parametric? Damon? No. Because it's parallel and it's. Because it's got a. These three are related by other variables. So these are variables that link to x, link to y, and link to z. Parametric. What comes your face, Damon? 